together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this song is about colors. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Now take two. Mix two colors and you'll make something new. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. You can also add a little bit of black or white. Yeah! <laughs> it's so good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A yellow sun. That's right. Let's see if you can guess what my other paintings are. What's this? A yellow house. Yes. And what's this? Hmm, it looks like a yellow flower. That's right! What's this one? That's a yellow wiggle bug. <laughs> Did you notice something about all my paintings? Look again. I painted a yellow sun, a yellow house, a yellow flower, and a yellow wiggle bug. What do they all have in common? They're all yellow. That's right! Today I'm only painting yellow things. Pig's paintings give me an idea. Let's make yellow our special color of the day. Which pencil is yellow? There it is! Yellow pencil. Which kite is yellow? There it is! Yellow kite. Which hat is yellow? There it is! Yellow hat. Which flower is yellow? There it is! Yellow flower. Very good! Pig, Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Ooh. Um, I don't see any paint brushes. That's right, Fox. We're not going to paint with paint brushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? 
Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Mm, blue, please. And I'll take red, please. Great. Now, pick up a sponge. Dip it in the yellow paint. <laughs> and start painting. Oh, 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 look. My paper is turning orange. Because red and yellow make orange. My paper is turning green. That's right. <gasps> Look how smooth it looks. I'm tapping my sponge. <laughs> it looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures. I'm done. Me too. Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes. And what's something different about your paintings? Mine came out green. And Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play. Uh-huh. But first... <gasps> we clean up. Oh, right. That's right. Let's clean up together. Okay. okay. Hi, Ms. Panda. What are you doing? Hi, Monkey. I cut out all of these colored shapes, and now I'm sorting them. Can I help? I would love it if you helped. Thank you, Monkey. First, find all the blue circles and put them in a box. Okay. Hmm. There's one. There's another one. This is a circle. That's brown. We only want blue circles. Oh, right. I forgot. Here's a blue circle. Thank you, monkey. Now, let's gather all of the green hearts. Okay! Here. Here. Here's one. And here. Splendid. Should I look for yellow diamonds now, Miss Panda? That's a good idea. Okay. Here. Here. And here. Great. And what's left? Two brown circles. Okay, let's put both of them in their own box. Okie dokie. We've sorted all the shapes. Thank you so much, Monkey. What are all of these shapes for? Whatever we want. We can use them to make art projects. Ooh, I could pretend these two brown circles are coconuts. Look! <laughs> you certainly could, Monkey. And you could use these green hearts to be tree leaves. <laughs> <laughs> it's story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Little Ant's Big Plan. In this story, Little Ant gets an idea from a book he reads. Let's find out what it is. Let's begin. Little Ant's Big Plan Written by Candace Dingwall 
Illustrated by Stephen McKimmy. Designed by Telry Stoop. Little Ant loved to read. Little Ant was often teased. Ants don't read. Ants must feed. Ants collect the food they need. Little Ant would read all day. He'd read and read the day away. The other ants took what they found to store for winter underground. His mom and dad got really mad, and little ant felt really bad. In autumn, when the leaves fall down, the ants must keep food underground. The queen wants food to fill the store, so all the ants must work some more. Little ant begins to shout about a place he read about. A restaurant is what we need. A place where people go to feed. It says so in the books I read. The ants go marching one by one. They march into the setting sun. And little ant said, Hey, there's one! The ants go marching one by one, carrying a burger and a bun. When they return, the queen is glad. The stores are full. They cheer like mad. Ant gets hugs from mom and dad. His baby sister takes his hand. Now I think I understand. The way you love to read a book makes me want to take a look. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose! Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids! Hello, Mr. Frog! I'm going to teach you something called Pat-a-Cake. It's not a song, it's a chant. Listen. Pat-a-Cake, Pat-a-Cake, Baker's Man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and roll it and mark it with a B. And put it in the oven for baby and me. Now let's all try it together. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and roll it and mark it with a B. And put it in the oven for baby and me. Splendid! Let's do it one more time. I want to hear you too. Here we go. Pat a cake, pat a cake. Baker's man, bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and roll it and mark it with a B. And put it in the oven for baby and me. Well done. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Thank you. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Fish. Flower. Flower. Flag. Flag. <laughs> Frog Frog Fan Fan What letter do all these words start with? 
That's right. The letter M. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter F. Who can think of a fun way to do it? I know. Let's trace letters with a glue stick. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Fox, why don't you go first? Okay. F. Oh. Great. I'll try it. Terrific tracing! Now, let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll trace the next one. <laughs> F! Nice job! I want to try! F Woo. You did it! Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? F Exactly! Uppercase F And what's this letter? That's right, lowercase f. Nice job! Wow! Wow! Cool! Nice work, everybody! Thank you, Mr. Goose! It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye. Before we say hello again, we need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Hickory dickory dock The mouse ran up the clock The clock struck one The mouse ran down Hickory dickory dock Tick tock Tick tock Tick tock Hickory
Hickory dickory dock The mouse ran up the clock The clock struck one, the mouse ran down Hickory dickory dock Dock. The mouse ran up the clock The clock struck one, the mouse ran down Hickory dickory dock